What if I told you that your favorite games I'm the conductor of the poop train! Those epic cutscenes and cinematic moments Asari Fleet's reporting. Might owe everything to this. Bink Video, the invisible hand of gaming, compressing cinematic magic into tiny file sizes and helping your favorite games run smoothly for over two decades. But wait, if Bink is so good at video compression, why don't we see it in Hollywood? Why does Netflix use AV1 and not Bink? And what even is compression anyway? Should we talk about it? So let's start with the basics. What does it mean to compress a video? Think of compression like packing a suitcase. You've got all your clothes, your video data, but your suitcase disk space is tiny. Compression helps squeeze all that data into a smaller size while trying to keep the wrinkles or quality to a minimum. Minimum wrinkles, maximum quality. And that is where Bink Video shines. Developed by Rad Game Tools in 1999, Bink is a video codec, a type of software that compresses and decompresses video files. Unlike generic codec, Bink was purpose-built for one specific audience, video games. And it's really good at it. But here's the thing, Bink isn't just about shrinking video files, it's about doing it in a way that's fast, efficient, tailored for gaming hardware. You see in gaming, speed is king. A game has to load a cinematic seamlessly, play it without lag, and then immediately jump back into gameplay, all without frying your console or PC. That's what Bink does. Where can I find Bink, you ask? Everywhere, but we'll get to it in a moment. But first, Let's compare it to streaming biz counterpart, because I bet you had some sleepless nights thinking about this. If Bink is so great, why doesn't Hollywood use it? Why is it limited to gaming? Well, here's the deal. Hollywood relies on codec like H.264, H.265, alongside AV1 and a bunch of other codec. These are optimized for internet streaming and large scale distribution. Platforms like Netflix and YouTube need Kodak that work well for streaming massive amounts of data to millions of users simultaneously. Bink, on the other hand, was specifically built for local playback. It's optimized for speed and real-time performance, which is why it's perfect for gaming. When you're playing a game, you don't have time to wait for a cutscene to buffer. Bink loads it instantly. And while Bink is fast and efficient, H.264 is about getting that extra pixel perfect quality. And for that industry, the trade-off makes sense. Now, here's where things... Now, here are where things some people might not care too much about, but I do, and I love it and it's all about file size. Bink was designed for gaming, where storage space is limited. Back in the early 2000s, most games shipped on CDs or DVDs, tiny by today's standards. Bing could shrink video files up to 10 times their original size without losing much quality. Okay, H.264 by comparison is even better at compression, around 300 to one, but it's slower to decode. That's fine for movies, which don't need to run in real time, but for gaming, Bink's balance of speed and size is perfect. Back to the previous question. Where has Bink been hiding all this time? The answer is everywhere. Let's talk about some of the biggest games that owe their cinematic magic to Bink. Well, there are over 15,000 of them. From Mass Effect, to our brooding boy on top of a ledge. Alfred, I took an encryption key from a tiger guard. But most importantly, Command and Conquer 3, Kane's Wrath. They thought we were defeated. They thought I was dead. Okay, so we've touched on Bing's past, but what's going on now? Even with modern game engines and real-time rendering, Bing is still going strong. It's been updated to handle higher resolution and it's more efficient than ever. Game developers stick to Bing because it's reliable, fast, easy to integrate. Picture this, the date is January, 2021. 
Epic Games, a tiny company behind Fortnite and Unreal Engine, bought Rad Game Tools. Why would Epic, a company that's all about pushing boundaries with Unreal Engine, want Bing? The answer is simple. It's optimization. Epic Games doesn't just make games. They build tools for developers all over the world. By bringing Bing, by bringing Bing and Rad Game Tools into their ecosystem, Epic supercharged their ability to optimize video playback, compression, and asset streaming in Unreal Engine. And let's be honest, Unreal Engine is practically the backbone of modern gaming, even with the dumpster fire of frame rate issues that some games experienced recently. Epic has also been branching out into the showbiz, baby. Google Virtual Production, it's awesome. Actually, complete sidebar. I was at a studio the other day where we've set up 30 to 40 lights and they were controlled by Unreal Engine through a DMX protocol so that the lights that were emulated in UE5 reflected in real life. Freaking awesome. Anyways, back to whatever I was talking about. By integrating this tool, it can play a huge role in cinematic heavy games or even in future Unreal powered projects that could use hybrid real time and pre-rendered assets. So in a way, Bing hasn't just stayed relevant, it evolved into a key piece of Unreal Engine's puzzle. So what did we learn? Compression is making big things small. Decompression is making small things big. Um, bye.